Hey guys, and welcome to episode 4 of Trigger Circuitry. In this episode, we're going to be going over how to make an AND gate, and I've also got a quick little showcase here which shows how it can be used in an actual, you know, circumstance in a map. Anyways guys, I'm signing a new thing up, so in the description of this video, you'll be able to click a link that will give you a world download for this map, so that you can sort of, you know, check it out everything yourself, or the individual stuff if you're really stuck. Should be really helpful. But of course, I'd recommend watching the video if you just want to learn sort of new information on how triggers work, and yeah, learn a little bit of deeper information about triggers. Anyways, let's get into it. So, as you can see, we've got a door here. If we hit one of these, the door doesn't open. But if we hit both of them, now this door is open, and we've got a little teddy bear buddy on the other side. Anyways, we've got a little reset switch we can hit here. And that, as you can see, the door resets, but if I hit it again, it does nothing. So once again, we hit only one of these, and the door stays shut. But if both of them are triggered, the door opens. And that's pretty much what an AND gate is. If both are triggered, it means the output opens. So in this case, it's a door. Anyways guys, let's see how we can make an AND gate. The first thing you're going to want is a trigger. So go over to the top left corner of the editor, to object, and then go down to tools, and then down to trigger. It's sort of in the middle and near the bottom of the menu. Once you've got a trigger, move it over to the general area where you want your AND gate to be, and make it sort of just whatever size you want. I like this sort of size. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set this to on destroy, change interface health. And you want to set the value to minus 10 and you're going to want to set the health to 10 and the respawn timer just set to zero the id in this case doesn't matter too much but let's just make it 100 for this example make the target 103 now duplicate this make the id 101 and the target 103 now what you're going to want to do is make your output so let's just give this a quick color change and make it bright red so it's obvious make the id 103 and let's just make the target 104 and that's the output of our output what you want to do is have the event be on destroy destroy interface and you want to set the health to 20 and the respawn timer to 0 0.1 now this is actually all you need for an AND gate. So pretty much what's happening, when you destroy this, it takes 10 health off this tr trigger, and when you destroy this, it also takes 10 health off this trigger, and this trigger has 20 health, and obviously, you know, 20 minus 10 minus 10 equals zero, so it gets destroyed, and we use it being destroyed as a way to take an output. So let's just quickly test this. So if we go over here and destroy this, as we can see, this red guy is still here, but if we destroy this as well, the red guy flashes like that and that's actually it getting destroyed and then respawning instantly anyways let's take an output from this now that we've got our and gate working we're going to take an output so this is going to 104 and destroying it let's duplicate this make the id 104 and let's set it to toggle interface gate so let's just make this yellow so it's easy to see so now what we're going to want to do is make a gate because in this case we're having it open a door so just go to tools and then down to gates so move your gate over where you want your door to be just make it whatever shape you want and let's really quickly make a wall around it so let's just get some cubes set the texture to whatever we want let's just make a white now that we've made the walls let's just modify this gate and make it work got our gate and we've got our final output let's set the target for the final output in this case let's set it to 105 and that means we're going to want the id of our door to be 105 and you're going to want to have it closable and have no pop-up and the rest you can just leave exactly the same now let's give it a test so as you can see if we go over here we hit one of these door doesn't open hit the other one door does open and now we've got an open door and uh yeah that's an and gate for you it's pretty simple anyways i'm not going to show you guys how you can make this reset circuit which is really nice obviously it won't reset anything if the door isn't open but if you want to see how this works and want to make it yourself or just duplicate it over and use it in your maps. I will include a world download in the description of the video, so you should be able to make everything here with ease. But anyways guys, that's how you make an AND gate. This is actually an extremely useful thing to know how to make, because you can actually take this, and you can take the reset circuit, and you can actually make full combination locks like you see in some maps, such as my map Project Nix, which you can find if you go to my Kranker profile. Anyways guys, that does do it for the episode. I hope you enjoyed. You know, these trigger circuitry videos are pretty fun ones to make, you know, introduce some cool stuff for you guys to use in your maps. I tried a little bit harder with the cool sort of mock-up in this one, and obviously the stuff you would not have exposed in your map, by the way. But I tried a little bit harder with the uh, mock-up one this episode. I think it's pretty cool, it reminds me of maybe sort of Death Star sort of look, you know, buttons opening and then you got that stuff. But um, yeah, it's a pretty fun little thing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.